Thank you for buying motorway walks and breaks. And I hope you enjoy some of these amazing places as much as we do. They're all just a few miles from a motorway and very easy to find with the directions given. We're all so used to using motorways to get from A to B. It's easy to forget that long trips can be fun and without adding hours to your journey time. When you're heading for the southwest from London, one of the breaks is at a 15th century pub. It's right next to a wood for the dog and there's a really good adventure playground for kids. It's an almost forgotten village and well worth a visit. Or you might fancy a scary stop at a haunted hall. This one's great if you're trying to please the whole family. There's lots of parking space, the cafe's got a good choice of fresh food and the walk goes through hundreds of acres of well looked after park. It's incredible how many brilliant places are close to motorways. Take the inventor of the flush toilet, Thomas Crapper. He came from a village just off the M18 near Goul. The dog-friendly pub there has got pictures of some of the early designs on the wall. All I can say is, thank goodness they never went into production. In Scotland, the castles and the massive parks are absolutely stunning and you may well be tempted to stay just a bit longer than you meant to. And with these, you really do get the feeling that you've had a proper day out, even though it's just a short break. In Wales, too, there are some gems at the end of the M4, and you may recognise a few of these from Doctor Who episodes. I didn't find any monsters, but there really are traces of dinosaurs, pirates, and a spooky sunken village. All the walks have been road tested by me and my dog, Jem. If you have a dog, there are thousands more walks and dog-friendly pubs on the drivingwithdogs.co.uk website. And for long trips with kids on board, you can always say yes to the are we nearly there yet question. Question.